Welcome to Brook Make Stuff. If you, like me, like to build stuff and make things, you're in the right place. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon so that you don't miss a thing. Today I'm going to be giving you a few more of my favorite shop hacks to make life a little more easy and a little more efficient. So let's get right into it. Shop hack number one deals with building a 90 degree corner clamp. I went into one of those big box stores locally to me and they wanted to charge me over $30 for one of these. I was a little offended because when I took a look at it, it's a really simple thing to make on your own. Easy as pie. Ooh. Grab a leftover piece of wood you have around your shop, mark out a 90 degree corner using your square, and then go over to your drill. You're gonna drill out where that 90 degree angle meets, that way you have a little bit of wiggle room when you get your wood in it. You'll see what I mean in just a second. Then you're gonna take it over to your miter saw. Cut out those lines that make the 90 degree angle. Check to make sure that they are perfectly square and then you're good to go. Next time you have a 90 degree corner to glue up, all you do is put your pieces back together, throw a clamp on it, and you're set for absolutely no money. Shop hack number two has to do with doing less math because I am all about doing less math. Let's say you have to find the middle point of a board of a weird width, like, I don't know, 10 and 13 sixteenths like we have right here. Instead of using 10 and 13 sixteenths and dividing that by two, which is insane, just choose an easier number to use. In this case, let's, let's try 12. If you line up 12 on the board like this, it puts six at exactly the center point. Much easier to divide 12 by two than 10 and 13 sixteenths by two. This makes life easier. I use it all the time. I hope it helps you. Shop hack number three deals with something that has saved my butt in my shop more than a handful of times, and that is two-part epoxy. Now the only issue I run into again and again and again with using it is where to mix it. So what I do for that is overlap a few pieces of blue painter's tape, which gives you a nice clean area to work on, and as soon as you're done mixing it and using it, all you have to do is rip the tape off the surface, throw it out, and you're good to go. The next shop hack deals with our miter saws. Now on a table saw, anytime you need to make repeatable cuts, you use what's called a stop block. But that same idea can be put here. All you need to do is take your combination square and put it against the side of the blade. That'll give you a perfect measurement for where you have to set the piece of wood and a clamp that you can use for a very inexpensive, very simply made stop block for your miter saw. In every shop, there are tools that have what I call a built-in annoyance factor. And there's none more in my shop that do that than the standard utility knife. I'm the kind of guy that finds a way to dull these blades and break these blades so quickly that for a long time I really didn't want to use them. That is until a friend of mine told me a hack that doubles the life of your blade. Now before you run to change the blade or flip the blade over, grab a pair of pliers and simply grab it nice and tight, make sure you're wearing protective eyewear and snap that blade off. That gives you a brand new super sharp edge that actually doubles the life of every blade you use. Nice. Well, there's another five quick tips, tricks, and hacks to help you out in your workshop that I hope you find useful. If you like the video and you like to build stuff and make things, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. Go check out some other videos on Burke Makes Stuff and we'll see you there.